My name is uh, Staff Sergeant Michael Stella. I am an engine mechanic at the 180th Fighter Wing. We work on the F100 229 version engine, uh, which goes into the F-16 fighter jet. And it is a one engine aircraft, so it's pretty important what we do here. The engine shop is basically broken down into two sets of maintainers. We have our flight line and the back shop. So the flight line is the front line. They are the ones that are out there checking on the interfaces with the aircraft. They're the ones uh, taking care of any issues that the pilots have. Um, anything the crew chiefs might find. So they are the ones that diagnose and fix anything that can be fixed while it's in the aircraft. If it's too big of a job, they will pull it and they can swap another engine in an afternoon into that aircraft and the broke one comes back here for us to fix. Crew chief usually calls in uh, and says that there's something up or uh, after the flight comes down, we usually download all the engine data from the flight and if uh, code pops is what it's called, but if you uh, find a code for the engine, you diagnose it, and if it needs maintenance, then you either can do the maintenance on the aircraft or if it's required to pull the engine to bring it into the back shop, we can do that as well. Usually once we get an engine back into the shop, we do a full receiving inspection, look over everything. Uh, we'll know in advance kind of what we need to do and what's been found to cause the engine to come back here, but usually with the receiving inspection, we take a further dive into what needs to be done and we can find you know, hidden things wrong with the engine and whatnot in order to fully repair it and get it back to functioning shape. After we go through and do the, do the work that needs to be done, uh, we usually take it out to the uh, hush house or a test cell and run the engine and put it through its paces as if it was in the air, but we can, we can monitor it and we can make sure everything's working properly before we put it into an aircraft. It acts as a safety precaution to make sure that it's, it's good to go. It's, it's a very satisfying job knowing that what you do makes a direct impact on whether or not the aircraft fly and if there's all of them in the air, you usually know you did a pretty good job.